Commission is visiting Tembisa Hospital where 10 babies died during an outbreak of a highly drug-resistant bacteria um, earlier last year in November and December. The Commission is about to brief the media together with the hospital management. We cross live to that. Good afternoon, Zenga. The Human Rights Commission has uh, just a few moments ago come out of the neonatal court here at Tembisa Hospital. They're about to brief the media now on uh, what they have found uh, after having uh, discussions with the management of the facility uh, coming to establish exactly what happened uh, that resulted in the deaths uh, of those 10 babies. At this stage, you have about uh, 11 that uh, remain at the facility. However, what hospital management has told us is that uh, the babies are simply here now uh, for their weight gain to be checked and uh, that the uh, bacteria itself is no longer within their bloodstream. Let's go straight uh, to this briefing now. We'll start, of course, with the Human Rights uh, Commission's Wang Jones. Uh, Mr. Jones, thank you very much indeed for your time. Um, you've been here. Are you satisfied uh, with uh, what uh, uh, the hospital has uh, briefed you on? Uh, thank you. We are satisfied with the explanation from the hospital. We are happy with the short to long term interventions that they are going to undertake to ensure that they, this, an incident of this nature does not recur or if it happens again, it is uh, at a minimum level. And we are happy with the explanation. We will continue to monitor the situation. The hospital has committed to furnish the commission with periodic reports. We are required to monitor the progressive realization of human rights and that's what we will do in this case to ensure that the hospital discharges its constitutional mandate. One of the things that came out of the meeting that you had with management is that uh, clearly there are serious challenges of overcrowding as well as uh, the hospital being understaffed. That was one of the key issues that came, came out of the meeting. Uh, I'm not saying that is um, what caused uh, this to happen, but it's a contributing factor to dealing uh, with uh, the uh, situation here at the Tembisa Hospital. That certainly must be of concern to you as the Human Rights Commission. It is concerning. There are a myriad of factors that contributed to the situation. And some of the interventions that have been proposed by the hospital will seek to address those issues of infrastructure, overcrowding, staff shortages, uh, are issues that the hospital is currently seized with, and we are happy with the explanation. So going forward, you've been briefed by management as well about uh, what they've put in place in the interim, but I think... Uh, the hospital CEO started here in 2016, and he was met uh, with these challenges. Don't you think that the Gauteng uh, Department of Health, for example, should have done all in its power to address uh, these challenges? Because this is not the first time that you have this kind of outbreak at a hospital. Um, uh, uh, Tembisa is, is, is the second hospital pertaining to this particular bacteria. Yes, um, we think that the department should have an, a holistic plan on how to address all these um, outbreaks. We were told that Tembisa Hospital has the second highest deliveries uh, in the country after Krisani Baragwanath. This to us says the department should review how they, re, how, how they allocate resources to hospitals such as uh, Tembisa which has seen an exponential increase in the number of people who are staying in the vicinity of the hospital. Buang Jones uh, from the Human Rights Commission, thank you very much for your time. I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. And uh, if you talk about the number of deliveries, just to give you uh, um, a sense of what uh, they're talking about in terms of figures in Zynga, I think it was in 2019, you had about 17,000 deliveries, baby deliveries here at, uh, at this particular facility. That's the second highest in the country. So the Human Rights Commission is saying that perhaps the Gauteng Health Department should look at, uh, in terms of resource deployment, 
to this particular facility on how they're going to manage that because clearly one of the major issues that has come through in this briefing between the Human Rights Commission and the management at this facility is that there is massive uh, overcrowding. Uh, this hospital is basically servicing a wide area in Tembisa and Tembisa a particular area where uh, you know many people move towards this area for example when they move to Johannesburg and the hospital says it can't even turn away anyone. Anyone who wants health care they have to see to those individuals and of course you'd know the criticism that hospitals often endure if they turn away uh, some of the patients. So the hospital says it's inundated. Uh, for example you have at the neonatal ward uh, about 60 beds and um, uh, you know the number of patients that, that could be admitted at even any given time would be about 100. So you're having a situation where you have a skeletal staff, you have a, a, a certain number of beds but you have overcrowding and the hospital is not able to turn away those patients. They have to ensure that everyone gets the necessary medical care. So uh, the Human Rights Commission says it's going to monitor this one going forward but an unfortunate incident where 10 babies of course uh, had died as a result of uh, that outbreak of that bacteria. Uh, 11 remain here behind me but uh, clarity from the hospital is that the 11 babies who are here now, the uh, bacteria itself is no longer detected in the baby's uh, uh, bloodstream and they're just here uh, to check in terms of uh, you know, the weight gain of the babies because they were born premature. Chris Alden Lewis giving us an update from Timbisa there. Thanks for your time this afternoon. Let's go further afield.